We're in beautiful St. Augustine, Florida at the McCafferty Family Reunion. Not everybody's named McCafferty. We have with us here Ronnie and Phyllis Benedict. And they are the son and daughter-in-law of Muriel, who was one of, was she the oldest? She was the oldest mm -hmm. of the five children. Mm -hmm. And you and Phyllis have a great story about how you met, something about a successful blind date. Yes, it was a very successful blind date. Uh, my friend knew the girls. I had the car. <laughs> and one of, the, one of Phyllis's cousin, cousins wanted to go out with my friend. So she had to find a girl to come along with him for the ride. So Phyllis was the one that uh, got chosen. She reluctantly went and um, she wasn't really impressed with me at first and I can't understand why. <laughs> but she did give me her phone number and subsequent conversations on the phone and a few more dates. We fell in love and ended up getting married. And she was uh, not really very old at the time, was she? No, she wasn't. And, uh, but uh, she was ready to be a mother. So three years later, we had our first child. And what was his name? Scott. He's 49 now. And uh, we had another son two years later named Dan. And uh, he's, so he's 47 now. But uh, our marriage has been very successful and very happy. And where's home for you? Well, we met in Woodstock when Mother lived there, and Phyllis was from Edinburgh, and her family were farmers and go back a long time. So we stayed right there in Virginia, and I got a job down in Arlington working for the telephone company, and that was our home, and it was only a hundred miles away so we could come up every weekend or so and visit her family and, and mother until 63 when mother moved out west. But uh, we still came up there and saw all her relatives and um, eventually when it was time to retire she wanted to retire back to the valley to be near her aunts and uncles. But being that we were so used to living in the city we didn't want to move out in the country like her mother, because her mother always would say, if you ever move up here, move near the hospital, because <laughs> the regional hospital was there in Winchester, and she would have to travel 40 miles to the hospital and find somebody to take her, because she couldn't drive that, that far. She would drive around home, but it was a, a trip for her to drive up there. And Phyllis's only sister was, relegated to doing that job and she so she'd have to take off time off of work so we moved up to Winchester because being used to the city we'd like to go down and get a quarter milk and and a loaf of bread if we run out of it but when you're out in the country you got to plan ahead you don't make your trips to the store when it's you know six or eight miles into the big place well, Winchester's part of the Shenandoah Valley, right? Right, and her family was born and raised in the Shenandoah Valley, and it's a beautiful part of the country. And uh, we like Winchester. It's, it's a small town, but it's big enough for two of us. And we live right on the edge, so if we go west or south, we're out in the country, and if we go east, we're into the city where all the stores are and the restaurants. We don't want to forget the restaurants. So you've got the best of both worlds there. Right, and we, and we, her, her sister doctors in Winchester also, so her sister comes up and we get to see her and we go down and see them and their aunts and uncles. Now doesn't uh, Dan have a couple of kids? Yes, our son Dan has uh, 
three boys. He has a 19-year-old boy, uh, and uh, and he also has twins that are uh, 16 years old now, and they live about uh, 40 miles away. But we don't see them quite as often because the boys are into sports and hockey, and it just seems like they're always got something going on for the weekend. But uh, he's been married, and he's got a wonderful wife. What's her name? Patrice. And uh, so she's uh, the stepmother to the boys. And uh, she's, they all love her, and she loves them. And they came up, they come up, but they don't have to spend no overnight because they're close enough. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice that we're still near them, and our oldest son still lives with us. And uh, he's got a pretty interesting um, hobby, in now that he himself is retired, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He loves World War II mem memorabilia. So and he buys and sells things off of eBay. He buys it and sells it, and Phyllis does the packing, and I take the and I'm the one that takes it take it to the post office. So it's kind of like a little family affair. But he's the one with all the knowledge and does all the buying and selling. We go to auctions, and uh, he goes to gun shows to look for material, and so he's. Uh, He's quite busy. He's always on the phone. We hear him talking to people, asking him questions, because he's been doing this for over 20 years. So he's very knowledgeable about what he does. He has a whole bookcases full of books on all these uh, things that he sells. Well, it sounds like you've had a really successful family and that you all continue to have a lot of fun. Uh, no, one other thing I don't want, when we live down the city, Phyllis worked for the animal shelter, so we ended up with four cats and a dog, and eventually they all passed on. But up there in Winchester, we didn't have a dog when we moved there. So I got outvoted, and we went up and got a labradoodle. They found a labradoodle on uh, the internet, so now we have a, a little white labradoodle, and it's a joy of Phyllis's life. She loves taking care of that dog. And what's the name of the dog? Phyllis Teller. Tilly. Tilly? Yes. Is, Tilly sounds like a she. She is a she. <laughs> How big is she? Uh, she weighs about 35 pounds and she has long fluffy hair and she's just beautiful. She's my baby. Is she an indoor dog or an outdoor dog? Indoor. Strictly indoor, out for exercise, and, but that's it. Strictly indoor. So you have a new baby? Yeah. I have a new baby, yes. <laughs> Finally a girl. <laughs> You get a girl one way or the other. Right? Yeah, we didn't want to keep trying because you never know what the outcome is going to be. Yeah, you could be like my aunt and uncle who had five boys and gave up. Yeah, uh, well, I, I didn't want to trust it that they go that long. So we just stopped at two. Well, it's been so much fun meeting both of you. Thank you very much for talking with us. Well, Thank you're quite you. welcome. Thank you. David, Ronnie, uh, uh, Tom, Michael, second row, my Patsy, Becky, uh, Patty, Julie, little Michael, Carl, Roberta, Shirley, Muriel, and Christina.